Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Rebranded from the Scott Rod to the Nightmare. So the channel's gonna kinda take a bit of a turn. We're gonna concentrate more on the Camaro because we've been basically doing more stuff for the Camaro. So hope you're interested. The Harley's still here, we'll still be making videos on the Harley at some point, but um still getting out on her and stuff. But yeah, the Camaro at the minute, we're doing a lot of stuff to it, so I thought I'd uh, update you guys in it. So it's day zero. Um tomorrow we set off for Santa Pod and Melbourne's street weekend 2023 which is a drag and drive event here in the uk for people who don't know um we're going to basically start at santa pod which is the other end of the country for me because i'm up in the north um and then we're going to drive from there through a predetermined route hitting checkpoints taking pictures submitting pictures of our vehicle at the predetermined um sort of stops similar to um you know power, uh, is it power tour and uh, sick week things like that um and then up to melbourne raceway um up in york make some licks there and then all the way back down same principle same concept stopping at checkpoint state and pitches um and then obviously finishing at santa pod which again is down in the in the south of england um by taking some uh hopefully some decent runs and yeah basically the the lowest average across the the uh the, the three days um is the winner for me um you know I just want to. I just want to get there at this point. So it's been. I've been on this. So so this drag and drive event has been on my radar now since last year. Um, really, really excited to do it. Wanted to get involved in it. Wanted to do it. Um, but it's not been without its issues. So since um, last year when I was racing the Camaro, I had some real issues. When I got back, and I think I spoke about it on a on a previous video, my intake intake gasket was. Um, not the best. My exhaust gasket on both sides it basically left the left the chat. Um, this is when I'm racing. The um, shifter wasn't quite working properly. I had a small cam in it. Um, there was loads of stuff. I also had um, Cooper Cobra uh, GTs, the radials, and I only found out afterwards that the tire inflator that I was using actually put the tire pressures up towards. 40 psi i was not going to tie off it the suspension was worn and tired and it just wasn't great um the carb was also not jetted correctly there was just loads of issues but you know what you live you live and learn and without doing those track days those run with your brungs and stuff like that you don't find this stuff out so a lot of learnings went on over over winter um i've pulled the engine apart um with the help of my brother um and friends and you know family we've put a isky cam in now, which is very choppy, very nice. I'll start the car up in a minute and show it and let you listen to it. Um, the cam is awesome, so much power now, so much better. Um, I fitted a vacuum pump for the brakes as well because obviously the, the vacuum level with a big choppy cam and it's sort of gone gone away. So that's that that's that was a big addition. The brakes now are absolutely solid. Fitted Caltrax, which is kind of a standard on leaf spring cars if you want to go fast. Got myself some drag radials. Um, made some other amendments as well. Done some wiring upgrades. Um, fixed the carb, jetted the carb. Done some stuff, and I'm in a I'm in a position now whereby. I feel like I can be better than I was last year. The only problem is I've made a lot of adjustments over the winter. In the UK, everything shuts down. Um, and, yeah, I've got plenty of time to basically mess around. So my friend Daz over at DC Hot Rods in in, in this area from where I am, um, local fella, he's helped me, you know, fitting fuse boxes, um, gauges. So I've got an air fuel ratio gauge in there now. So, you know, it just it makes it that little bit more consistent. Um, but... For the drag and drive event, so we've, we've sort of done all that, got the Camaro into a good state, but it started pissing oil out of the, the, uh, the, the, the what I thought was the intake. So, at first we took the uh, mechanical, so I've got a mechanical uh, um, fuel pressure, uh, sorry, oil pressure gauge in the car. So I took the braided hose off that, took the air and fittings out, redone them, put them back in the, in the China wall, as you know, if you've got a small block Chevy, it's at the back. Um, done all that, still shit, pissing out. I'm like, oh God, like, what's this? You know, I cleaned it up, couldn't see where it was leaking from. Thought it must be the China wall. Don't use gaskets, I put a big thick bead, still leaking all the way down. So, you know, it's now, we set off for this uh, drag and drive event tomorrow. I pulled the intake on Friday, it's Wednesday today. So I pulled the intake on Friday, cleaned it all up. Um, decided to put some, you know, just just have a look at the gasket. The, the gasket on the back on the China wall, the, the, the RTV that I put down, was pretty thin. So, again, you, you know, you live and learn, I needed to put a little bit more on. Um, but it wasn't leaking, I don't think. But it wasn't that far off from probably leaking because it was that thin and squished. So when I took the intake off, didn't drain the block. 
um, got coolant, a little bit of coolant in the oil, so I decided to, drip, to change the oil. So I changed the oil while I was there. Good insurance. Put some new Felpro Performance intake gaskets on. Got all that sorted. Put the intake back on. Fired the car up. Went to time it. Pissed out of the thermostat housing. Never touch a thermostat housing though, so I don't know why. Took the thermostat housing off. Put some RTV on it. Slapped a new gasket in. Stuff like that. Um, put it back together. Cured. Waited 24 hours for it. Cure. Started it up. Bringing the, the RPM up to time it again, pissed out. My like, friggin' hell. Four times we've done this. Four times. I finally got the combination that works for me, which is basically a standard. Um, I, put, I put my old uh, thermostat housing on because I had one of those ones where you, you bolt it to the intake and you can sort of move, move the top around so you can put your top hose for your radiator in the position of your, your sort of choice. Finally got it in, like basically sealed off with the old housing unit that I used to have. A new gasket and a new o-ring so jobs are good and got in the car decided to do a bit of a check over my brother wiper motor stopped working bearing in mind for street weekend i fitted um a brand new wiper motor washer pump um new horn rewired the the front end of the car with me with me dad and brother again for um upper and lower um headlights indicators everything right the wiper motor decided to shit itself <clears throat> so that was yesterday rewired that washer pump decided to do the same rewired that it's just a never ending like you know get i'm just getting served shit i'm like an all, I'm an all you can eat bad luck buffet at the minute um it's just a fucking nightmare so it is what it is um finally got the camaro sorted the harnesses and everything in as well so we fitted harnesses so it's in a really good position now path it's absolutely dirty and as you can see behind me the garage is an absolute tip there's shite everywhere so but the cars sound last night we were like right cars done shall we have a look at the dodge so uh, for you for those of you that don't know i've got um, a dodge van and that's going to be the Torig. um it's a b250 1992 with 318 v8 in it um yeah pretty decent van really like it we call it eagle five um so for anyone you know like space balls you can get that reference um I sent it up up the up the road to a local place to get um, electronics fitted to the tow bar, so it's got a hitch, a tow bar and hitch. Didn't have the electronics on it, so I got got a, a local company to look over it um, and I basically give it a health check underneath. So they put a split charging system in, um, all that sort of stuff. Give it said, yeah, it's fine, Scott. Go ahead and go for it. Brilliant. Yesterday, my brother and I decided to have a look underneath, so we took a look underneath, and there was a hole that size in the in the in the side of the tow bar where you can see through. Um, and it's like, I've got today, so today's Wednesday, tomorrow I pick the trailer up and we, 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 we book. So I'm like, I just don't, I just don't know basically what to do. So again, friends have sort of helped us with this. So today I'm going to go up to uh, DC's Hot Rods and Race Shop um, and take the part out that's got the hole in it, put some eighth plate in it, weld it all up nice, make it strong again, um, you know, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get it sorted, but Daz has been a big help with that and you know if it wasn't for that I probably wouldn't be able to make the drag and drive event so that's what we're going to do this afternoon uh, or this evening um, it's going to be right to the wire so my job today I clean the friggin garage up get my tools in order get everything packed ready to rock give the Camaro a bit of a, a bit of a clean ready to go um, but like I said it's day zero um, day one is tomorrow we travel down to Santa Pod we get sorted we get in the pits we set up, we stay overnight, and then the racing starts first thing Friday morning, and then we're off for street weekend. So I am super happy. My brother's pumped. Um, and yeah, so let's let's do it. So um, my goals for the car this year, the times and everything. Never been down a quarter mile with it. Only done uh, eight miles. My goal for the car would be to get under 13 seconds. I would love a 12.99. Don't know if I will. Let's see what happens. Um, if I don't do it this time, I will do it. I will do it again, um, and I will get there. That's that's a goal. And then, yeah, as everything, it'll probably I'll get a twelve ninety nine. I'll be like, right, I want to get in, uh, you know, twelve fifties or whatever. I don't know, but I want to be in that twelve second bracket. So yeah, that's my goal. But I'll show you the car now anyway, um, and we'll go from there. Oh, it hasn't got the air cleaner on at the minute, but I'll let you listen to the cam.
as you can hear it's pretty rowdy um, and that's it so the next time you see us we'll probably be on the road um, yeah and hopefully making some passes I'm gonna um, film all the way along uh, all the way around if um, you know look at the, I mean look, look at the state of the garage holy shit I've got some work to do but yeah um, I'll be making some passes and I'll be making some videos. I'll do some, try and do some in-car stuff. Um, got the draggy as well, so we'll see what happens. But um, hopefully you've liked the video. Hopefully you like the update. So it's day zero. Tomorrow we start. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, like. Um, follow the Street Weekend Progress on Facebook. Um, go follow Santa Pod Raceway and Melbourne Raceway UK. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everyone. Bye.